Well, welcome back, Grizzlies, for the uh, KZZK uh, Blind Pig Beers of the Month. You may notice that we're all wearing sunglasses. Hey, it's May. Might as well be summertime, and we've got the beers right on time for when the weather starts warming up and you start sweating. And the place to go to get these, Blind Pig here at uh, 12th and 1. Jeremy, thanks for having us uh, in for the uh, Beers of the Month for May. Oh. we got some uh, special ones in here today. The first one from down in St. Louis. The uh, fine people at Schlafly Brewery have a summer lager, Sean. Yeah, it's the, uh, the summer lager. It's 4.5% by volume, so it's a little bit more of a kick to it than your typical summer kind of beer, but uh, it's still good, smooth, uh, it tastes good cold, something you're going to want when you come in from the, from the warm spring air. And if you're wondering where it gets its name, it's actually a, a German name. Uh, the Hellas, it stands for light, and then uh, lager means to the store or to store so you put those together and uh, that's where they get it and it is light light in body but uh, not in flavor this is a great one that's going to carry you through the summer whether it's paired up jeremy with barbecue mm. or paired up with maybe uh some some fish and salsa or chips and salsa or fish and salsa and chips and salsa and <laughs> chips <laughs> have another one <laughs> Have another one. You know, we've got barbecue sandwiches here, and uh, you know, go great with barbecue. It, like you said, it's it's a lighter beer for summertime, but it's not as citrusy as some of the summertime ales mm -hmm. that you're going to get from other breweries. Schlafly's always been one of our favorites, um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's going to pair up great with food, and you know, on a nice hot spring summer day, it's it's just going to taste great. A little more beer history, if you're wondering about it, this style emerged when uh, Spotten Brewery uh, got married to a, uh, a, a British technology, a British-born brewery, and that kind of they came together, this is where we got it. Well, we're crossing the stream. Come on down and enjoy one. It's uh, Schlafly's... Esoteric beer knowledge goes great oh, that's, with Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's wonderful uh, stuff to talk about when you come down to the Blind Pig and have a Schlafly's Summer Lager, one of our May beers of the month at the Blind Pig at 12th of Lynn in Quincy. Now the other beer we've got for the May Beers of the Month at the Blind Pig and uh, KZZK is uh, from Founders Brewery in Michigan, and Sean is a big fan of what they do at uh, Founders. It's the Dirty Bastard, and you can't get this everywhere, but you can get it here this month at the Blind Pig. Sean? Well, it is a Scotch style ale, and those Scotch style ales have got a lot of depth. They start with a lot of caramel. But the reason they're called Scotch style ales, Jeremy, is they get a lot of their notes from Scotch, whether it's smokiness or peat flavored, and this really has kind of both of those going on. Yeah, it does. And, and Founders, again, another great brewery. Uh, we do their Centennial IPA on tap sometimes. Um, it, it sells great. This one, uh, it's very malty. You know, I think we were talking about it's got like five kinds of malt in it, um, and you can really taste that. It's a it's a caramely beer. Um, you know, it's, it's dark in color, but it's not real heavy in taste. Um, it's one that even on a hot day, you can still, you know, you can still put it down pretty well. Like Jeremy was saying, you got that caramely taste. That comes from the variety of malt that they have in it. And that's really what kind of makes it sweet, but it can still retain some of that edge with the Scotch style. Yeah. Uh, the interesting story about this, you, one state has banned this? Alabama. <laughs> Alabama, the uh, vanguard on the crusade for political correctness, Alabama, has decided <laughs> that because of the name Dirty Bastard, they can't put it on the shelf. Really, it's ironic because you can buy Fat Bastard wine there and Screaming Bitch Ale, but you can't buy this. So if you want someplace, you can get it, 12th and Lynn at the Blind Pig. Yeah, that's right. And one thing that I've noticed, Sean, is uh, looking at the label, mm -hmm. I believe this is an outline of Nostradamus. <laughs> <laughs> well, he well, is one of the most back. famous people to ever grace a bottle of beer. He and the Mad Monk, anyway. <laughs> Pick it up. It's the Dirty Bastard from Founders. Founders, they do a lot of things right. You're going to have this on tap for, for May. Yeah, we're drinking it out of the bottles, but uh, yeah, starting in May, we will have it on tap. This is also a World Beer Cup winner, so this has a big pedigree behind it. Check it out. It's the Dirty Bastard. And this, as well as uh, the Summer Lager from Schlafly, are how much? It'll be $4 a pint, like all our beers of the month. It's a great buy. It is. Beer enthusiasts, this is the place you need to be. Blind Pig, 12th and Lennon, Quincy. 